Hello everyone, welcome to Carpenter Land. This video is for parents, it's for students, it's for families to watch together. It is to give you a little bit of background on me and to provide you some information on what the classroom will look like. Some news off the top, we do have back to school night on Monday the 12th from 4 to 6 p.m. and followed immediately outside by an ice cream social. I hope to see everyone there. I realize it can be difficult for everyone to attend, so if you can't make it, I totally understand. I look forward to meeting your students on Tuesday. Looking at the class list, it looks like I know a fair amount of the families already going to be in the classroom, um, so you're familiar with me. If not, welcome to Carpenterland. I hope your student is going to have an amazing 2019-2020 year, and their fifth grade experience is everything they could hope for. A little bit about me. This is my seventh year at a boy. All five, all seven years have been at fifth grade at the alpha level. Um, when I was going to school at IPFW, um, studying elementary school education, I interned at a boy in the fifth grade, and I fell in love. And I feel very lucky that I'm here. Um, so you can see I graduated from IPFW, IPFW in 2013. I had spent 10 years doing mortgages beforehand. Um, I got my high ability license from Ball State in 2016. And this past summer, I finished up a master's in school administration per, from Purdue Fort Wayne. I have three beautiful daughters. Caitlin, she turns 18 on August 8th. Um, she is a senior at Carroll High School and then our twin daughters, Aubrey and Madison. Um, Aubrey is to the left. Madison is the one being squeezed in the middle in that um, picture in the upper right-hand corner. They're 15. They are freshmen at Carroll High School. And then I've been married to my beautiful wife, Jennifer, for 17 years. She also just got her RN um, this past spring. So this summer we took a week vacation without our teenage daughters. We left them at home. We went to San Diego. That picture is us at Balboa Park. Um, we had a great time. The air conditioner broke on our daughters during one of those really hot weeks this summer. So the parents had a great time. I guess our kids didn't have such a great time, but they lived. They're fine. Um, communication, what you'll get from me, the thing that as a parent myself that was always a pet peeve is getting a daily email from a teacher because I didn't know what day was just the, hey, here's what happened today versus, hey, you really need to be aware of this. I personally like emails when I have something to say, hey, this is coming up, be aware of this. This needs to happen. So you will not get emails from me on a daily basis. There may be some weeks that you don't get an email from me at all. When I do send an email, it is me giving information that you as a parent need to know, something that's coming up, something your child needs for the classroom, something along those lines. I don't spend a whole lot of time writing email about what we did this week. You can find a lot of that information on Canvas. Um, so I don't feel like a daily email is needed. You can also follow me on Twitter at Carpenterland. I do post a lot of pictures from the classroom on that account. Um, I do put a lot of kind of my educational philosophy on that account. So you, if you want to know who I am as a teacher, what I believe as a teacher, and what I believe about education, you can find it out there. I also use Twitter as a way of connecting students with authors that they're reading. So a number of the parents that have been there, your students have had pictures sent to the author and the author respond back. Um, it's just a way of kind of connecting that reader to that, to that author. And I think it's really cool and it really gets kids excited um, about about their reading, that it's not just I'm reading the book. I have also been seen by this author, author who, who wrote the book. My wife asked that I write this in a, kind of an apology um, since this is a week from back to school night. I know a lot of you have already gone back to school shopping or you've ordered those supplies previously, but I just don't have any more room for new Kleenex or tissues and plastic baggies in the classroom. I have cabinets full of this stuff. So if you have this material and you're like, 
Mr. Carpenter, I really wish you would have let me know beforehand. I apologize. I do have a suggestion. We do have a new music teacher and a new art teacher this year. Um, those classrooms don't have class lists. So they are always in need of tissues and plastic baggies. I would give them to their tissues to maybe one teacher. Plastic baggies, probably more for the art teacher than for the music teacher, but I don't know. Uh, maybe Mr. Metcalf does need plastic baggies. But if you have those materials, I would ask you to give them to those teachers um, instead of me. If you send your kid on, if you send your student on Tuesday um, with plastic baggies specifically, I'm going to send them back home um, because I, I just don't have any more room. I probably have enough for at least a couple more years. Um, that I don't have to have them. So again, I apologize that this is coming a week beforehand, but I do have some suggestions. If you have them, you can always give them those other teachers. They will appreciate it. Um, I am a mastery learning classroom. Um, if you were with a boy last year, I know Mrs. Polly and Mrs. Gates also did mastery learning. We specifically will do it in math. I will try to in integrate it into other content areas this year. It might not happen every time in every content area that's something we're hopefully building towards um, but it will happen for every unit in math this year um, i found it highly effective i got to work um, through my master's program directly with dr thomas gusky who is kind of the national leader on that is the one that brought this initiative to um, southwest allen I believe in this. Um, you can see that diagram at the bottom kind of gives you the structure of what that looks like. Um, if you have any questions, you can let me let me know. But really, the focus is we're focusing on the learning and not so much the grade that gets put on the paper at the end. Um, you'll see that. I'll explain it a little bit further to your students when they get there. But really, it's more of Let's learn the material instead of focusing on what grade we get on the material at the end. I know I get a, questions about homework. Um, I don't provide much homework. Um, you can see to the right there, this is from Ditch Homework Book, um, that there's a number of reasons that I don't do homework for fifth grade. The research at best for homework um, at the elementary school level doesn't show much positive benefit at all. In fact, most of the research shows that it has negative outcomes. If you're wanting your student to do work at home, um, once I get a chance to know them a little bit, I can give you some suggestions. I can always suggest reading and writing at home um, on their own is very beneficial and letting them do that on their own is much better than me giving a specific homework and them completing it. I know they get homework in middle school. Um, it's going to be an adjustment whether I give homework or not um, because I, I just, even a, as an elementary school teacher, I can't give that much homework. Um, and, and so I just don't believe in it. I, you know, I remember my own examples of growing up. So I don't give much. Doesn't mean I don't give any, but I don't give much homework. Um, other things you need to be aware about aware of that we do this year is we do JA BizTown. Um, basically, your students are given a job for a day and they have to go through a complete work day with tasks and things that they have to complete. It's one of the best days of the entire school year. They love it. Um, we do throw parties. Um, I use Sign Up Genius when it comes time for those parties. I will do one at Halloween. We will do a winter party and then we will do Pi Day instead of Valentine's Day. Um, so there's that. And then we also have the fifth grade musical. We will send more information when that becomes available to you. We will also have a field trip. Um, at this point, we have it finalized as a fifth grade group. We've had some changes in our staff as well. So we will get that information home as soon as possible. Um, very likely we will be doing the trip to Toledo, what we've done the last couple of years, which has been very beneficial. One other thing that if you've had me before that you're not seeing on this is um, We the People. Last year, Mrs. K and I were the only two school, only two teachers in the entire area that participated in the program. It's kind of hard to say that we're going to continue in that program when it, there's only two teachers in the same building that are doing it. Um, your students have other opportunities when, with 
middle school and high school to take part in the We the People program. That's a little bit more robust. And so at this point, we're leaning towards no. When I started seven years ago, we had a couple of schools from Northwest Allen and Canterbury and a boy. There would be nine or 10 classrooms. Last year, there was literally Miss K and I. So we feel like it. we can use that time that we dedicate to We the People to other things, Project Lead the Way, um, computer science activities, and keep kind of the momentum going that's not just doing We the People program. That's kind of a brief, brief overview. If you have any questions, you can email me. Also, below is another link to a site called Flipgrid. You can click on that. You can see a little introductory video from me um, being excited about this upcoming school year. Sing me a song. Send me a message. Um, if you had a student that was with me in years prior and wants to send me a message, use that Flipgrid. It's really easy. Um, kids for the most part, are familiar with how to use it. And if you don't want to, totally fine. Just giving you that opportunity to welcome you into the new school year. I can't wait to see everybody here Monday night or on Tuesday when all the students arrive for school. Thanks so much.